Hello, everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Teacher Casey, and today I am here to talk to you about Creative Fabrica for high schoolers. Now, you may have seen my middle school video where I felt like there wasn't really a whole lot of worksheets or principles or things for middle schoolers. However, I found there's a lot more for high school, and I thought that was kind of interesting, so I wanted to show you. Um, I haven't decided whether to put my hair back or not because it's making me warm. So, all right, let's get to the actual video of showing you Creative Fabrica for high school. So now I wonder if for high school, Creative Fabrica being so, you know, stocked on high school versus middle school, I'm guessing it's because of like graduation and t-shirts and things like that. So let's take a look to see what we have here. You should be able to see my screen, which is Creative Fabrica. I have my link that you can actually get 10 downloads for free or one month, I believe it is. So um, go ahead and check that out. Even if you don't want to buy anything, check out the free link below. But when I typed in high school, I was looking for different things. You can see there's different patterns and graduate. See a lot of graduation stuff. There is assignment planners and things. I have found quite a few good planners. Um, just a lot of different things, freshmen, freshmen, sophomore, you know, all the kids love their shirts and things like that. So back to school, you're actually taking a look with me. I only saw things really quick and then I was like, oh, I gotta let everyone know. Obviously this is pre-K, so I don't know what that one's up there for, but so I did take a look at some of the pages and saw just a few things. I do think Creative Fabrica is amazing for different fonts, different graphics. If you're making something on shirts or banners or things like that, this would be a great place. Um, all right, let's specifically go to a high school grade and take a look. I really feel like I'm gonna lose my voice on this video. All right, should we start with ninth? Let's take a look at ninth grade. For, for me, when I was teaching um, kindergarten in Germany, our schools were pre-K through second, then the intermediate school was third, fourth, and fifth, and then middle school was sixth, seventh, and eighth, and then high school was ninth on. So, you know, I may show you some grades that are not really pertaining to you, but um, maybe we'll see. So this is pretty cool, the conversation starters for teens. Now I'm not showing you anything that I already know, like um, I've never gone to this site and checked out this person's store or anything. But um, so I'm just showing you kind of what comes up when I'm searching for high school. This is specifically ninth grade, ecology, earth, some pretty cool resources in this one. And like I said, they do have quite a bit of shirts and things like that. <laughs> Quite a bit of fonts and graphics, I should say. So that was what I had found for ninth grade. Let's see, what if we went to say 10th, 11th? What do you guys think, 11th? We're skipping grades here. We're all smart cookies. <laughs> all right, so while we're looking at this below, please write down where you find some resources. I found some awesome resources on Pinterest, on um, teachers pay teachers and just a bunch of other places but um, creative fabrica if you're making your own thing it's really pretty cool snakes and ladders for 11th grade hmm. you might have to check that out let me know what you think Put mazes oh that could be cool you know one thing I did find that I thought would be neat was coloring books for adults so like stress relief and things like that do any teachers like have you know a section where if a student needs downtime or anything like that I know I could probably get the kids one for you know bins the morning bins or morning tubs or whatever you call them um, but they had a lot of things like I thought motivational quotes would be really good for high school students or something so maybe you don't send color pages you know you don't really give them out or anything but maybe there's an area where they could take one home they just need a little a little happy in there, you know, at times or something. So that is about it for things for high school, but you can see the different fonts and graphics and holidays and just all different kinds of things. So if you are a high school teacher, you might want to check out some of this. So 
I did see um, Stranger Things on here. I think a lot of students would love that, but it's not really in my niche of little kids. So, all right, everybody. Oh, freebies. Go get your freebies. <laughs> all right, so let me stop sharing my screen. And that's about it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe, share with your friends, or share the Creative Fabric a link with them if you know anybody that likes any kind of crafts, really. Um, I would appreciate it. All right, everyone, until next time. See ya. Bye.